Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! It's me, Cooper, and today we are going to be entering in uh, this area. And we are going to go inside the pyramid and we're going to duel some people. Will you enter the pyramid and take my challenge? Uh, I will enter the pyramid, but I don't need to take your challenge again. Uh, thanks for the money, though. Um, let's see. In the pyramid, we got a lot of opponents. We have not fought this guy yet. It's time for Gravekeeper's Commandment. Or Commandant, whatever. What are you doing in a place like this? If you're here to rob graves, I'll show you. No He's up there. It's not me. It's that guy right above you. I know you're Gravekeepers, but Don Zalug has literally got Dark Scorpion Burglars in his name. Go get him. All right. Well, it's still going to be me. And yay, we get to go first. Thank God. This Gravekeeper guy's all right. Granted, the Gravekeeper deck sounds horrifying, so we're going to do our absolute best. My new Reflect Bounder. I was so happy to receive this card. Uh, but instead, I'm going to start with uh, my Dream Clown, because I have an idea. I'm going to set two spells or traps and hope that they don't start Heavy Storm, because if they do, that breaks my heart. Um, but this should work. This should work just fine. I, I, you idiot. That's exactly what I would want with a Dream Clown deck. You, do you not understand who I am? <laughs> you fool. You think I don't run three level three monsters? Because granted, that actually does scare me that you have a stall card that effective. Um, fine. I do run level three monsters. I'll set this in case I find a way to get rid of it later. And Dream Clown is just going to have to do this himself. And you know what? I trust him. I trust Dream Clown with my life. This man is the only card that's immune to all stall cards. It beats Gravity Bind. It beats Area Limit Level B. And it beats Messenger of Peace. None of those cards can stop him. All right. So what do you plan on doing now? I'm, in, I'm immune to everything you play. Yeah, I know Gravekeepers have a lot of defense and flip effects, but you know what I can do? I could just say screw it and activate Giant Trunate so I can hit you real hard this turn. Because after this turn, who cares? Dream Clown, do your job. Dream Clown's going to pop your monster, so even if it was Spy, it goes away and you don't have the ability. Yeah, I knew it! It was goddamn Spy, and now you don't have the chance. If I didn't draw Giant Trunate, we'd be in a completely different situation right now. But I am very happy. And now I'm going to reset up everything. Yeah, all these monsters go in defense mode next turn. I could care less. I honestly could care less. I have this guy in my sights. Having a stall card lets me know that I'm not going to have much fun in this tier of enemies. Stall cards obviously just make the game more annoying. But here we go. As long as I have Dream Clown this early, I feel confident. Yeah, don't worry. You're, going <laughs> you're both going to defense mode soon. So, Mr. Gravekeeper, were you expecting that play? Oh shit, that's not good. I'll admit I was not expecting that play myself. Uh, you might not area limit level B me anymore. Okay, I have no, no monsters, but you do. Uh, you threw away your only monster. Uh, no, you already saw I had no monsters. You have gravity bind and area limit level B, and your right of spirit is the reason you did all this. Uh, but even with right of spirit, it doesn't matter. I could literally... I could literally pop your monster in two turns, so... Yeah, I'm chilling. And your monster's in defense. I don't know if you know this. Yeah, exactly. Okay, you're not, uh... You're not the brightest pupil, are you? Well, I'm gonna set this up. I now know you also run Gravity Binds, so I'll have to rely on my level 3 monsters, which I do not have many of. I admit, I do not have many. But I have Dream Clowns, so I feel safe. And now... No need to rush recklessly into battle. We're fine. I'm going to draw. Yay! That gets me to a level 3 monster in a couple turns. That's not bad. Let's destroy their boss monster, because I assume no other good Gravekeepers exist yet. So that is probably the strongest Gravekeeper monster there is. And then we'll just chill. I'm not afraid of Gravity Bind. I'm not afraid of Area Limit Level B. I got the two perfect cards to stop you. I'll have a, a Mimic soon. That's level 3. Perfect for going under your stuff. I do have to worry, though, because you did just play that. Ah, uh, yes. Going to make me waste even more time. However, I drew Metal Morph, so I lied. You're not going to make me waste much more time. Dream Clown will never have to use his effect again. I'm joking. If he sets a card, I will. I change my thoughts very quickly, don't I? And I don't actually keep a thought. All right, let's see. <laughs> None of this matters anymore. None of it. None of this matters. Here you go, Dream Clown. This is for you, because of how good you are. Yeah, none of this matters anymore. The duel's over. I play Heavy Storm. You're not stalling me any longer. 
And now it's just you and me and your 1,200 defense points. So let's go ahead and put all our monsters in attack mode and let's destroy our opponent for now. And that's game, everybody. Dream Clown literally kept us in control. They never got spy off. They never built up a field and we won the duel. People always ask me, why do you run a Dream Clown in a deck that doesn't even have any, you know, battle position changes? Why do you run a Dream Clown in your freaking Amazonas deck? Why do you run a Dream Clown in all your decks even though it doesn't really fit? It's because he is the perfect fit for any situation. And there we go. We're going to go ahead and take a victory. One copy per card deck. Wait, really? Really? I have no copies in my deck? I didn't know that. That's cool. Yeah, dude, I'm not trying to hurt you. Don't you worry. And the final opponent, an actual person that needs to go back to his grave. Um, yeah, let's just duel Dark Dust Spirit. So, spirit decks usually suck, but I have to admit, um, that's the one of the only good spirit cards. Dark, Dark Dust Spirit is one of the only good ones. That one, Tsukiyomi, and I would say a Sura Priest is all right. Those are the three best. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh, okay. If I had gone first, I would have been fine with Dark Mimic, but we'll have to think differently. Okay, you're not a spirit deck. You're a zombie deck. That changes things quite a bit. A zombie deck is much better than a spirit deck. Mmm, I do have my Vorse Raider, so we're going to test to see what kind of zombie you are. Vorse Raider has a summoning animation, so you better be ready. And this rare card is going to attack you. Okay, so are you the Book of Life or Call of the Haunted type of zombie deck? Or are you the... Uh, I, you know what? What other kind of zombie decks are there? Ah, uh, that's fine. It was just magic drain. So unless you have a really good spell card, I'm chilling. What do you have, by the way? Didn't think so. Or are you the Pyramid Turtle, Red Eye Zombie Dragon, Zombie World, Steal Your Opponent's Grave kind of deck? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play Great Angus. Most zombies have terrible defense, so I'm just going to attack with him. Uh, it is the Pyramid Turtle route. Okay, that's not good. That's not good. I might be seeing a Rurikoki right now. Let's see what we're looking at. Yeah, those zombie decks are pretty good. Shit. Shit. That's... My deck cannot summon a boss monster that quickly. I don't even run boss monsters, really, because I don't ha own any that fit a deck idea. So that is sucky. That is quite the sucky. I do have Old Vindictive, but like I said, these decks have a lot of revival cards, so... He's got options. Solemn Judgment will save me from Revival, but if they have another Pyramid Turtle, then what did I... I did it for nothing. Great Angus, try to see if they have another Pyramid Turtle. I want to see how bad of a situation we're in. Nope, just a Dragon Zombie, a very respectable zombie monster. Gotta love it. That card can get under Area Limit Level B. But the other... Uh, and Gravity Bind. But uh, Messenger of Peace would stop it, so it's not perfect. It's good, though. It's good. And that's a pretty decent monster. I say no. Yeah, I'm joking. I'm not going to make 4,000 for the... Uh, no! Now, you can have it. I'm glad you used it now. You can have it. I I, I think I'll be okay. I, I could take a hit right now. I'd rather do... I'd, I'd rather take 1,800 than 4,000. Now, granted, they get to keep the monster. But if I draw a monster that protects me with, say, 2,100 defense or a monster that floats into another... Or a monster that... Look, I have options. We'll figure it out. I could use Sangan to get to those options. I could use Dark Mimpet to try and get to a trap or spell option. We got we got options here. We're going to figure it out. I draw Ukazi. Oh, baby. All right, let's try Sangan first because that's a little bit safer. Ukazi, it's good to see you. Don't worry. We'll use you to end the duel, I'm sure. All right. Yep, that's what I thought. You're just going to attack me with basic poke. Oh, you almost said Pokemon. God damn it, Pete. The TCG game is getting to me. All right, the TCG game is getting to me. We're going to go ahead and check out what we can get. The only card that helps in this cer certain situation is this guy. Hmm. All right, not the best idea, but it's the only one I got for now. And I could take it. If he tries to tribute or revive, I have Solemn Judgment. And no, it's not the best cost, but it's got it's to do what it's got to do. That horrifies me. That changes a lot of things. Now he's also a deck out deck all of a sudden. Gyroid is also nice, but let's go with the card that'll actually survive. All right, now we're just going to play the waiting game until I can get to Majestic Mech or any other of my powerful cards. Vorse Raider's gone forever, though, so that's a problem. That card could double its attack, and I'm curious if he'll do it. Nope, he's a coward. Um, yep, you can't kill him. 
and he's gonna hold the field until you find a tribute monster. And once you do, you're getting Solemn Judgmented. So I need to draw Metal Morph. That's not gonna work, but it's a nice card. It's also a nice gesture just to own it. Um, I'm gonna use Dark Mimic a little bit aggressively to do it early. I know it seems a little foolhardy, but I'm gonna do it. Just because I want to uh, clear up the field and uh, draw a card without taking any damage. And maybe I can get a trap right now that can help me. No, but at least I'm not drawing that. Ah, it doesn't matter. I'll figure it out. Amazon Spider is good enough for Metal Morph, so I guess that'll have to do. Now you're really scaring me. That's a lock. Okay. I'll find my way out of this lock. I got Dream Clown somewhere. Dream oh, and I got Enemy Controller, which does have a niche effect that works. So we're going to play Amazon Spider. Uh, normally I'd wait, but uh, no, no, God, no. I'm going to Metal Morph. Yeah, we're going to Metal Morph Amazon Spider. It's the best idea I got right now. Pretty safe monster with a decent 18 attack stat thanks to Metal Morph. And it only gets stronger when I'm the aggressor. So let's go ahead and destroy our opponent. And my best idea to get rid of the Soul Absorbing Bone Tower uh, lock is going to be Enemy Controller since it's the current card in my hand. Obviously this will come later, but I'll keep Enemy Controller just in case I need to use it for something else. Because I do have Dream Clown, I do have... Uh, I have other cards. We'll make do. I'll do what I have to do to win this. You kept the mummy in attack mode. A little curious, but maybe that trap card is better than I think. Um, if I were to play it safe, it wouldn't make a difference. So I don't like that. I couldn't attack your monster. Without giving rid of my tribute monster. I couldn't kill that card with it. Um, you know what? It's fine. Uh, we could just trust that we'll beat it. Uh, I'll set up Gyroid just in case. Amazon is fighter. I'm not afraid of their one trap card. What could it possibly be? Get in there. Exactly. We gained the attack points, and Amazon is fighter has taken out another zombie. Now, next turn, I'll consider getting rid of the Bone Tower. They only have to kill one to feel safe, so... Yeah. Mmm, my gyroid. <laughs> I don't want my gyroid to die, but at the same time, I'd rather not save it. Alright, we could still do what I need to do. I draw a card. Dimensional Prison will come in handy later, but I can't really set it right now. Oh, kinda can. Alright, just in case, we're gonna Dust Tornado. We don't know what we're working against. Could be Call of the Haunted, they're saving. Uh, Compulse that they could have chained and they could have used way earlier, but because my monster had the same attack points, I think it messed with their AI brains. Uh, we're going to go ahead and activate Enemy Controller. This card is just going to gain control of an opponent's monster, and this is how we beat the lock. Our defense monster is gone now, though, so we have to be safe. Uh, the lock has been defeated now. We're going to put you in attack mode, even though it won't make a difference. Um, and we're just going to attack the other one, since we can. And then there is no more lock. Granted, if he has a third one, then that's uh, going to become its own problem. But I'll figure things out. We, we're good at figuring things out. I end my turn. You can have your crap monster back. I'll figure it. Ugh. I still got to be careful, though. All right. This is why we save Solemn Judgment. And it does matter. It, this... This cancels its effect and stops it from being summoned. Dark Dust Spirit would have killed us, and we would have lost the duel. So I'm glad I stopped it while I had the chance. Hooray. Um, oh, I drew a good monster. Okay, thank God. And since I drew a good monster, we're back in the game. All right. Thank God for Solemn Judgment. We would have lost that turn if it wasn't for it. Uh, let's get Volticon to destroy this so there's never a lock created. Amazon a spider, you're my safest card. You can destroy the other one. Okay, he's going to get a zombie of his choosing. You know, low defense, but most zombies have low defense, so it's basically of his choosing. Ah, he's just going to try and do that. Okay, that's fine. I'd rather he do that than try to fight me. So, despite our low life points, I'm definitely turning this duel around, and he's not ready for me. He sets. Okay. Interesting. That doesn't do anything unless you planned on attacking me. So, once again, the AI has shown that it's messed up. I got Chainmaster, which is a pretty decent monster. We all know that's Goblin Zombie, so I'm going to attack it with my Chainmaster. And we're going to beat the pa uh, beat the pants off this guy. So, Chainmaster, get rid of Goblin Zombie. Goblin Zombie's going to have to find a new target. 
Luckily, it can't search Pyramid Turtle. Pyramid Turtle's too tanky. Um, more Goblin Zombies. I could live with that. Let's throw away one of your cards, which in a zombie deck, you don't normally want to throw away their monsters. But if I could hit a spell or trap card, that's very good. Let's see what I hit. Okay, Pumpkin's a really cool card, and I respect him more for running it. Before, I just thought this guy was kind of cool, but since he runs Pumpkin, I respect him. All right, we're just going to end our turn and see what our opponent feels like doing. Just a goblin zombie, really? Okay, well, that's duel. We have won the duel, and there's my paladin, the strongest of the Amazonas cards. Even stronger than fighter, with a metal morph buff. Granted, it's a little bit different than that. It doesn't matter. All right, let's give her the goblin zombie. Chainmaster does her job. Very proud of her. And Goblin Zombie, what are you actually going to look for? Dragon Zombie's a little bit more decent. That card could have at least killed one of my monsters. Uh, let's go with 2k attack points from you. And I could win with Bayu, uh, I mean, win Bayukazi for fun, but let's give it to the card that actually saved our lives. Amazonist Fighter. Everyone, take a bow for Amazonist Fighter. Great job. We stopped the Dark Dust Spirit. I was very patient with my Solemn Judgment, and it worked out in the end. So, yay, we win a very intense duel. Okay, we're making some cash. That's, you know, that's good. It, it feels disappointed, but the sandstorm won't let it talk. Oh, hi there. I know you. Yeah, you're the spirit of the pharaoh. Who dares disturb my slumber? Okay, looks like we got a little bit of a boss fight from the young and the rest. Oh, and the immortal, my bad. Um, the thing about this guy, though, is he's a terrible boss monster, so I highly doubt he's going to be a good duelist. And that means he's running level 2 monsters. Level 2 normal monsters that are zombies. I am not afraid of him. Sangen's a pretty good start. Gyroid's also pretty good. Okay, he's got some traps of his own. Um, unironically, like, like if he is Spirit of the Pharaoh, this is a good idea, so I'm gonna do it. Because I think he has, like, no powerful cards. Well, he's a little different than Spirit of the Pharaoh. I know this now. He's slightly different than I expected. Alright, let's just attack this card still. I think it's a level 2. Oh, it's Deslacuda. I'm still glad I hit it. Good job, Sangan. Yeah, a lot of zombies have terrible defense, and since this is just another zombie deck, I'm ready. Now, granted, that monster could kill Sangan if I let it, and I have Magic Drain just in case. So, we're in a good position. Come and get me. Now, normally I'd like to search, but I think it's funnier to kill his monster just to show him how weak he is. Yeah, Spirit of the Pharaoh decks are really bad. And, I mean, Embodiment Apophysis is different. At least that's something I didn't expect, but I was prepared for it. Reflect Bounder would be nice, but Giant Trinade might be necessary just to play things a little bit safer. Or I could just Sonic Duck and let the traps activate. Let's see what happens. Um, again, I'm not... I, I truly believe zombie decks don't have defense, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm, and I'm 100% right. Alright, is he going to try and get his trap card to summon himself? Yep. All right, he's going for himself, which is why we hold on to Giant Trunade. Because if I could slow that uh, that card down, which it does only take two turns, but so does Future Fusion. And Future Fusion takes too long, in my opinion, as well. So, And he already has one, so he just searched for a backup one in case I destroyed this one. Which is a smart idea, but at the same time, if I Giant Trunade on my next turn, you don't get your monster. You have to wait another two turns. I'm not joking, though. If I am not, If I do not... Um, Stop him right now. He will get his monster. I love drawing Yukazi. It makes me feel good, even when I lose. All right, we're going to go ahead and do this. Giant Trunade, beautiful. Uh, we're going to get Magic Drain back down there. We're going to get Reflect Bounder set up and ready to fight. Even Spirit of the Pharaoh would just end the duel now because he'd accidentally kill himself on me. Again, zombies suck, so just go ahead. Oh, shit. Okay, that's a zombie that does not suck, and I'm actually in trouble here. Okay, how do I plan around that? Do I have target cards? Do I have cards that... What the fuck? I mean, I guess he killed me, but he took 1,700 damage. And it does... I, you know what? And he's going to take more damage because he's stuck in attack mode. You're you're a weird one, Mr. Grinch. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's just, that's just the truth. Um, Metal Morph would have won me the duel, so that's sad. All right, let's go ahead and summon Gyroid, and let's do some damage. Let's just try to build it up. Sangan gets to go first. Gyroid gets to go second. 
Yeah, if I had Metal Morph, I could just kill you. Because Metal Morph could activate on him, and that's a target, and then he dies. Alright, and that's 1,400. And I almost can kill you by Ukazi if I wanted to, but I don't, I don't plan on it. Alright, so I have one turn before he gets his boss, and his boss... You know what? All things considered, it's actually a pretty strong card. It has the power of Dark Magician of 2,500 attack points. But I'm not exactly scared, because as long as I kill that... And I know one of those cards is another First Sarcophagus, most likely. Um, if I were to say Metal Morph, my opponent's Spirit Reaper, I win. Like, watch this. Oh no, you targeted me, bro. And then he just blows up. <laughs> yeah. And um, with how much damage I have left, I can actually just attack with my Sonic Duck to play it safe. Oh, I didn't need to play it safe. And that's when the monster he could revive. Fair enough. Granted, I don't think you want that monster back. Sorry, guys, I'm not going to let you see Spirit of the Pharaoh. Is it a cool card? Hell yeah. Is it a necessary card to see? God, no. Yeah, Spirit of the Pharaoh does look kind of cool. It's just not, yeah, not necessary. You lost this duel to basically a Sangen. That Sangen was on face up in attack mode this entire duel. I didn't even take a single point of damage, and you're supposed to be a boss? Get him out of here. Get him out of here. I have lost. My, you are strong. Go, duel in this pyramid as you wish. I will go back to sleep. Hey, cool. He's a little, he's a little eepy. All right, let's go ahead and open this chest. Oh yeah, why not? What's gonna happen? Nothing bad has ever happened to me. Whoa! That's a rare card. That's a really good card. Um, guys, that is... It's time for packs. Let's go open some packs. I know I don't have much money, but, uh... I'm never gonna... Oh, wait a minute. Uh-uh, nope. I, I take it back. We're doing this instead. Hey, stop kicking sand out. It's in our bullying scenario. Whoosh, whoosh. The sand moth appears to be bullying the pyramid turtle. Step in to help. Whoosh, whoosh. Uh, help me. All right, I w if I get a Pyramid Turtle for doing this, it's totally worth it. Pyramid Turtles are busted. No, please. No! All right, Sand Moth's Rockstar deck could be a problem. Rock decks are deceptively good. You don't think they're good, but they actually have some pretty good effects. I like the ocean in the background, though. Uh, not a good hand, I have to admit. I do not have a good hand. I can maybe buy myself some time, but Rock decks are known for running Golem Sentry, so this deck would get countered by it. Solemn Judgment could save me, though. Um, let's just go with a defensive monster to match his defense. Most rock decks just play defensively. They only have a few offensive options. Let's see if it is Golem Sentry, which could technically be used as an offensive option. Or Guardian Sphinx, either or. Shit. Um, you shouldn't do what I'm about to do, but I'm doing it. <laughs> don't do this at home, kids. Don't, don't do what I just did. It's not worth it. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's basically why. Uh, no, it's fine. I'm fine. It's all good. Hmm, getting a little worse. <laughs> it's all good. Hmm, I don't know about that all good anymore. Uh, let's just slow him down a bit. I, uh, yeah, I, I see he's got options here. Uh, let's draw a new card and see what I can get. Hmm. Okay, this is good if I happen to top deck a beater monster. No, don't! What the? Why did it move twice? No! You guys saw it. It moved instantly twice. What the hell? No! What? I'm trying to help a guy out here. Leave me alone. Alright, maybe I could bait him. I don't know. Yeah, let me metal morph real quick. Oh, god damn it. The only good news is he went for damage, so I guess I technically... But I don't get to destroy him, which is a huge problem. I could have been safe if I just destroyed Grandmark. I can't do that now. My only... The only thing that can happen right now to save me is I top deck a uh, Amazonas card or a beater monster. That's the only thing. Amazonus or Beater. Part of the cards. You know what? That actually saves me. That works too. I didn't even think about this. Uh, MST, protect me, please. Yeah. All right. Now, let's just hope that's not Golem Sentry, the card I, I mentioned in the very beginning of this video, which, you know what? Makes me think it's going to be Golem Sentry. Nope, it's that card. And that card pops. I should have mentioned that guy too. I can't, uh, my body is a shield this? Is it a pop? No, it's, a oh no, it's just the same thing as Golem Sentry. Never mind. If it was a popping effect, I would have lived. And that's a loss, guys. Um, I'm pretty sure that loss would have happened either way. I got a bad hand. It's not, it doesn't happen too often with this deck. This deck usually is pretty okay. Uh, but we did fall into a bad hand on that one. I didn't draw any of my combos or options. 
But one misclick didn't. I don't think that misclick cost me the duel. I think we honestly would have lost either way. So how am I going to get you to, you know... Okay, good. You're still there. Here, let me... Look, I'm not okay with the bullying situation. It's just not okay with me. I'm just going to step in to help. But this time, we're actually going to help. Pyramatero, maybe jump into my deck. Then I can really help. I don't think I have any zombies, but still. Okay, maybe if I go first, that'll change everything. Let's just hope I get a better hand. Oh, yeah, that's much better. I can make this work. Oh, even better. I have that guy to start the duel. Yep, I like this. I like this quite a bit. Um, If he MSTs this, I'll feel a little bit sad, but I think it's fine putting on the field. Let's just be careful. You're going to try aggressor? Yeah, he's trying to be the aggressor. Now, luckily for me, that means I can hammer shot because normally it's like hammer shot the big monsters. No, 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 no. Hammer shot the little monster because giant rat becomes bigger monster if I don't kill it by bat. Ooh. That's a really good play. I didn't think you would run that. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I drew the same two monsters, but this time I have other monsters to support them, which is why it's a better hand. Um, that could be a Call of the Haunted, so I can't really pick Dream Clown. Um, but I could pick Amazon Spider or Sonic Duck. I'm going to go all out because I don't have many summoning spaces to go with, so might as well. We're going to do 1,700 damage, and then we will make do with what we got. Let's see what we got. Now, most rock monsters can't beat 17, but their defense definitely can. Gigantus and Rock Spirit could, though. So I got to watch out for that. He can get those cards pretty easily. All right, I draw MST. I can make sure that that uh, card doesn't affect me for the rest of this duel. Or I could just destroy this card. Hmm. Honestly, I'd rather have my zones back, because I do plan on summoning a lot of monsters this duel. Um, Dream Clown, it would be a little early for you because I don't have traps to defend you. You actually need a little protection in case you are too weak for him. Alright. Shit, he had two. Okay. This is starting to feel like 2004 where everyone has two of those cards, but in this case it's been a good thing. Um, I'm gonna let that rat live. Yeah, it doesn't matter because he'll just get Grand Morg. So he either has Grand Morg or he's gonna freaking, uh get the good monster if I kill it. Oh, Lucky Iron Axe. Not something I wanted to see. I still have Old Vindictive, and he can't beat my defense monster, but honestly, if he was going to give that to anything, I'm glad it was the rat. I can handle the rat. And this is why we don't play Dream Clown, because, uh... Well, actually, maybe he wouldn't have targeted Dream Clown. I don't know how he would react. That's interesting. I have Old Vindictive, though. He's a little safe. Fuck that. <laughs> He's a little safer, but, uh, you know what else is safe? It's a good old rush recklessly, but I don't want to kill him and then he just gets everything, so. We're just going to go ahead and do this, because once I kill this rat, he has none left, so he won't be able to search. Whoa! That's a dick move. Please hit the fighter. Please hit fighter. No! I liked having him. He made me feel safe. Technically, that was still the nicest thing he could have done for me, but still. I'm not happy. Alright, you feel like using Grand Marg yet? No. Alright, I'll take some damage. Uh, no, I... Mm, do I want fighter? No, I don't want fighter. I don't need fighter. People will say this was a misplay, but no. I don't need her. That was, I only needed her that one other duel. This duel, I need Dream Clown. It's the only card that's necessary. Granted, if that's a flip effect monster, we're in trouble. Ooh, I only need Dream Clown. Alright, old Vindictive, make sure that rat never comes back. We've dealt with the final rat. Okay, same thing. We dealt with the final rat. Wait, do I lose a card in my hand? Is that what that one does? Uh, no, that's not gonna help. Oh, he just gets a rat back. Never mind. It's a switch card. Shit. That's really good. All right. Well, Dream Clown, you're here to party. And I'm gonna give you your party axe. So, this is Dream Clown's party axe. We are actually in a desperate situation. Um, I can't do much in this case. But I can make sure he doesn't get his flip effect, so I'm gonna destroy that card. Ooh, that's interesting. So that could steal my Dream Clown. But since I killed it, I don't think it's allowed to. Yeah, it's not allowed to. If I had let it live, I would have been stolen and lost the... Well, not lost the duel, but I would have been in trouble. Especially if it was a tribute monster. And it'd be in real trouble. Alright, I could beat Gigantus. Now, granted, if I beat Giga, the fuck you put it in defense mode for if you were just going to do that? Okay, we're in a weird situation. Um, yeah, I'd rather draw Axe of Despair, not even joking. Yeah, I have an idea. Trust me on this one. So, weird thing putting that card in defense. Giant Rat's just going to search out another card, sadly. Um, but I might as well use up all my back row because we're going to lose it soon. 
All right, Giant Rat, I tried to stop you from using your effect. I don't even know what monster you were going to choose, but I, I needed to stop you, and now I couldn't, so... Oh, it's just him? I could beat him. He sucks. I'm not even joking. That card straight up sucks. All right, I draw my Axe of Despair. Now my Dream Clown is back to being the best monster in the game. And Dream Clown, you're just going to go ahead and kill them off. Now, granted, if that Gigantus crashes on me, then any monster in his deck could probably beat me. But, uh, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Let's see him try. I don't think he's that brave when he has basically no hand like me. What, you got two cards in your hand? There's no way one of them beats Dream Clown. Shit. He drew a second Twister. My only weakness. No, it's fine. Okay, how do I beat Gigantus now? Maybe I should have let him keep Sandmoth, I don't know. But then I'd have a Dream Clown with 1200, but... You know what? He didn't draw a monster. How could I have known? I was expecting a second monster. Chainmaster doesn't help me if I pay the life points because they don't have a monster in their hand. But it would give me information. Is the information worth 1500? Let's find out. Still bricked. Could be a tribute monster. Would a tribute monster help me? Do I have a special summon effect? Do I have anything like that? You know what? Let's find out. What are you packing? Oh... God, I can't kill Gigantus because of that trap card. It'll just switch it out with something better. And Ryoku means I can't beat him in battle ever. All right, Wabaku finally comes way too late to save my Dream Clown, but yeah, good to see you anyway. All right, he has not drawn a monster. So he drew no monsters when I was expecting one and drew the spell, exactly the spell he needed to stop my Axe of Despair play. And he's just going for extra damage, which, honestly, there's worse monsters in there. That one's a little bit safe, but I'm not going to Wabaku because I have life points left. Um, I actually prefer this. I'd rather lose the life points than they don't have a powerful monster anymore. So, I know Ryoku will kill whatever I play next, but Wabaku exists, so let me get... No! I still love seeing you, buddy, but this is not the right timing. All right, I'll hold on to you just in case. Let's see what we do. Let's see what we do. That's fine. I can take 14. Earth decks aren't known for doing that much burn damage. Unless they have Rock Bombardment. That's about it. Uh-oh. One of those is Rear Yoku, which means the other one wants to be protected. I draw. Not the worst card, but Rear Yoku is a card that exists, so I need to be prepared for that mentally. Um, I'm just going to attack. We don't have any other choice. We got to be aggressive. If I top deck one more Amazonas card, then I have a pretty decent monster on the field with 1900 attack. And on the other hand, he got the card that just bounces me back. And I can only Wabaku it, so. And how much defense? I think that card is 14 defense. I can beat it. Go ahead and put yourself face. Oh! Sorry, Ukazi. I should have used you. I didn't realize he was going to do that. Uh, I'm a little curious about this. Because this could hurt and. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yes, so you're planning to go aggressively. Okay, Wabaku saves me. Interesting. Now I wish I okazi but I was hoping that if I drew a discard effect, I'd have a card just in case. That card doesn't have much defense. That card's interesting, but doesn't stop me. And none of these traps can stop me anyway. Interesting. Interesting. Nothing but interesting things are happening. I activate Giant Trunade. After Giant Trunade, I'm going to summon the Elite Goblin Attack Force. Okazi, I would have won this duel, so sadly I'll use it. I'll use it next time. That's my own bad. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and attack. Uh, let's go ahead and do massive damage, and next turn I win by Amazon Archers. I just got to make sure I kill that face down card, which I think it only has 14 defense. Yeah. Amazon Archers will have to win me the duel, though. Uh, though it is, I need 100 more burn. Again, I, I need to Ukazi, but it's fine. At worst, he has one flip effect on me. At best, um, Amazonas Archers will activate and I'll save the day. Shit, that's a popping card. Don't hit Tiger. Thank God for attack points. Thank you, God. Now, he has a big hand, so I'm expecting a problem. That's fine. I was ready for this. This is what Amazonas Archers is for and Dimensional Prison. Amazonas Archers will do more burn, but sadly that means I lose Dimensional Prison, but that means I win the duel. <laughs> what a weird way to win the duel. Medusa Worm is forced to attack me with zero attack points. Say hello to Amazonas Archers. 
And that is game. The tiger wins me the duel. Not my perfect showing, but I did good, right? I came back. <laughs> I was desperate top decking for a lot of it, but he morphing jarred and messed up. That morphing jar benefited me more than it benefited him. Woo! Stressful, guys. Stressful. Thank you for helping me. Oh, you're going to show me a nice play. Oh, you can walk on the screen. That's nice. Where the hell are we now? Oh, we're under the sea. <laughs> Wish I could be. Oh, there's just an under the sea part now. So this area has a lot of people you could fight. But we'll be fighting them next time. Everyone, please remember to like and subscribe. And uh, see you then.